Blessed morning. Thank you very much to everybody that is watching this video. I want to welcome you from wherever you are joining me from. This is your friend. This is your brother, Prophet Samhanga Consul Chinyama, right here in South Africa. And I want to thank the Lord, and I believe you are wow, and I want to believe that God is keeping you and is sustaining you. His messages are seeing you through. Amen. I've been receiving a lot of questions and um, people seeking answers wanting to know on the interpretation of the dreams and also understanding what do they mean so a lot of people are under the attack of witchcraft and of which some of you might not even know that you are under the attack of witchcraft now i'm going to say certain things that you need to understand about witchcraft who is a witch a wizard and what does it mean to be bewitched what does it mean when somebody's having the spirit of witchcraft so these are the five things that i want you to to know about a witch Number one, how do you identify somebody is a witch or is operating with the spirit of witchcraft? Dominance. People that are with the spirit of witchcraft, they always want to be in control. They always want to be known. Even in churches, they are there. They have this dominant spirit. They cannot sit under any other person. Now, the act of witchcraft... It's a very serious thing that is mentioned about in the Bible several numerous times. We hear about Jezebel, who is also called the, the harlot. In other words, witchcraft comes with the harlot, or I'm talking about immorality. Anytime you go into a place, you find there's high immorality. Just know that you are dealing with witchcraft. So I said number one is dominance. What is dominance? They always underestimate and undermine authority. You'd find it could be in a church. They would think they are more superior than the leaders of the church. They think they are more gifted. They know everything about a church. The spirit of witchcraft, when it is in an individual, they don't want to be low. They don't want to be humble. They want to be on the top. Just like it was in the Bible, in the book of Kings, you're going to find of um, um, the queen um, Jezebel, she was not the one in charge of the authority of the land, but spiritually she was, because the time the king could not be able to get the vine, she was able to go and have the vine herself and give the king something which the king could not do. So there are powers that try to manipulate authority. So the spirit of witchcraft when it is in an individual, they do not want to submit and they want to always manipulate. So manipulation is something that you watch out as well in the life of an individual who is operating with the spirit spirit of witchcraft so you cannot trust such people they look nice in a second minute they change their character so there's dominance there's manipulation what is manipulation this is to try to twist you from the truth and the truth which you already know but try to cause you move away from it with the intention of causing harm so they manipulate you be very very careful with your people people that seem to be so so good that they want to do everything for everybody just so that they can be pleased and be clapped for dear friend be careful now let me help you to understand the word witchcraft it is a compound word that is a mix of two words which and craft which means to bend or to twist and craft means skill so when we're saying witchcraft we're simply saying a satanic skill of manipulation so there are a lot of people's lives that are being manipulated through witchcraft so i said there's dominance there is manipulation and the second the third thing that you know somebody's operating with the spirit of witchcraft or oh, they are a witch is envy and jealous they don't think another person qualifies to be better than them they would rather kill you and not have the opportunity themselves because they think if they cannot have it then nobody else can have it so these are signs that you should watch out for in the life of somebody that claims i mean in the life of somebody to see if they're having the spirit of a witch or they are a witch now those are two things being under the influence of the spirit of witchcraft as a witch and being a witch with full knowledge and understanding of what one is doing so there are a lot of people right now any moment you come across somebody who does not care about the reputation of other people they are willing to cause injury to any other person that comes into their way as they think just know the person is operating with a spirit of witchcraft all right let me say something as well that you need to understand about witchcraft three things that exist when you're talking about witchcraft there's what we call hodom there's what we call um 
idolatry and witchcraft itself. What is hodom? What is harlot? In other words, any time you go into a place, you find that sexual immorality is high. Just know into that place, there's a spell of witchcraft. So it is one of their strongest two that makes witchcraft so strong that it is a manipulation system that you find somebody leaves their house to go and stay with a, ch a young girl or a girl who's older than a, a woman i mean who's older than that person and they they say the person loves them and so on they have been bewitched a spell using immorality has been issued over their life and there are a lot of people right now things are wrong in your life things are not working out because there is an attack of witchcraft of immorality over your life it is not that you have lost interest in the woman that you loved before but it is you are under attack of a spell that has caused you to act in a certain manner then what is idolatry idolatry every time there's witchcraft it will always push you to something that you're gonna worship now worship when i say worship does not just simply mean you have to bow to say yeah, hell king and so on but your lifestyle becomes dependent on a certain thing your lifestyle becomes influenced by a certain thing so there are certain people right now the witchcraft that has attracted them the idolater that is so strong in their life right now that they are worshiping is lifestyle lifestyle so their lifestyle is um influenced by let's say culture music and so on that is the idol in their life right now which is so uh, prevalent and that is so dominant in the lives so we have idolatry immorality or hodomness and then we've got witchcraft itself the manipulation so witchcraft always thrives when manipulation whenever you find somebody that is so manipulative just know you're dealing with witchcraft now let's go to signs of somebody that has been bewitched signs of somebody that has been bewitched how do you know you've been bewitched or you are under the attack of the spirit of witchcraft number one the loss of financial income how and why do you say so the bible records of a woman that went to jesus to say she had spent all her money on doctors so poverty is one of the two of witchcraft because the enemy comes to steal destroy to kill so you make sure you do not have finances and leads you to poverty there are a lot of people every time you have money there's always somebody in the family that is sick or somebody that is dying you've got to send money to cover those things at the end of the day it's like you just work for problems you never work to enjoy your money so the loss of income is a sign you are under attack of witchcraft you have been bewitched the second thing is what we call mind controlling anytime you find somebody that their mind is controlled manipulated that they don't make decisions on their own they have got to ask a certain individual you'll find this individual is the youngest or the smallest they own no, nothing but when they say a word that individual will obey any moment you find somebody whose life is controlled by another individual just know they are under the influence of the spirit of witchcraft and people who have been captured their minds have been captured they act in a very silly way you might want them tip them of somebody they're gonna tell the person what you said why because they are under a spell they do not see the wrongs that you're trying to warn them so I just mentioned two things there right I talked about my loss of income I talked about um, the mind acting so silly in other words that their mind is captured they cannot make decisions on their own how do you know you've been bewitched or you're under attack of the spirit of witchcraft again when you realize that in your life there's no stability when you read in the book of Genesis chapter 3 when God was driving Cain out he said you're driving me out from the face of the earth in other words he was going to become a wanderer there are a lot of you you are going from one thing to another there's a spirit which is known as a spirit of vagabond you get this job you get fired you get this job you stop some of it's in issues of your relationships you start a relationship the person has not even cheated on you but you just get bored and fed up and you walk out it always keeps on happening and you you, you say maybe that's the way you are but it's a spirit which is against you settling maritally so i'm praying for you that if you're this individual with the 
situation right now where there's a vagabond spirit that you cannot say to. You've been in many relationships. All those people you once were with in relationships are now married. And you the only one that is not yet married. And the enemy is taking advantage of this and telling you, you know, all men are the same like that demonic lie. It's never true. But it's a lie of the enemy to keep you oppressed. So there's no stability in the life of an individual. The other thing, how you know you're under attack of witchcraft? How do you know you've been bewitched? Constant and ending illnesses that can never, never be understood, never, never be explained. There are certain people right now, from sickness to, to sickness, every month you've got to go maybe for chemo. Every month you need to be in the hospital. There is no year that ends without you having a certain illness you've got to deal with. That is a sign you are under attack from the spirit of witchcraft or you have been bewitched. How do people get bewitched? How do people get bewitched? I'm going to be sharing with you dreams that will show you as well you've been bewitched. But I'm going to share with you how people get bewitched. Witchcraft thrives on contacts. There's got to be a contact, a door that is opened that will allow witchcraft to access you and cause damage in your life. So they'll always look for a certain door that they're going to use to come into your life and cause damage. So number one, money the bible records in the book of acts chapter 8 of a man called simeon magus who was in the city of samaria when philip had gone there before philip went to preach the message this man was a magician he controlled the city he bewitched everybody with the spirits that he was controlled that he was in contact with when philip came he received salvation but then he was not yet completely delivered how do i know you can read in verse 18 when the apostles went there he approached peter and he approached the other apostle that was with peter john if i'm not mistaken he said sell me this power in other words witchcraft thrives on contact money is one of the most deadly contacts through which people have been killed have been bewitched have been destroyed there's got always to be a token that will be used to represent somebody's life on a satanic altar for them to be bewitched i pray for somebody that is watching me to this lovely afternoon depending on the time zones whatever satanic token has been given for your destruction that the spirit of the living god is just going to come through for you and take your life from that altar in the name of jesus christ now let's get to the dreams number one dream number one that shows your life is under attack of witchcraft or you're being bewitched eating in the dream eating when you read uh, in the book of Jeremiah 33, you'll find the stories of where women used to get uh, food and sacrifice to the queen of heaven. And they would dedicate their food to the queen of heaven. That is witchcraft. So food is one of the dangerous, dangerous tools that has been used to bewitch a lot of people. When you dream you are eating, it is a sign of initiating you. You are being initiated. There are a lot of people right now, there's a lot of witchcraft deposits that are in your life. It is either you ate food physically or spiritually. Why do they love to use dreams to attack you? Because any moment you are in your subconscious, you are not conscious of things happening around you, you do not have full power and full will to say yes or no. So it is easy for spirit to force themselves in your life at a moment where you cannot resist so they take advantage of this so whenever you see yourself eating in the sleep eating in your dreams it is a sign your life is under threat of witchcraft they are under i mean your life is under attack you've got to resist it you've got to come against it you've got to pray don't wait for the next day Train yourself to wake up instantly to confront that dream and cancel it. Do not wait. Because what is happening when you're seeing things in the dreams? It is a report card of events surrounding your life, how they are happening in the spiritual realm, which will end up affecting your life in the physical. There are a lot of people, because of the witchcraft that is in your life through the things you have eaten in the dreams, it is the one which they are using to control you, to monitor you, that they have used to bewitch your success and your destiny. In other words, you ate your own destiny. When you thought you were eating food, you were partaking of the witchcraft that was happening in what is known as a coven in their secret demonic meetings. Dream number two. When you dream, you are in a place where you grew up from. With your friends, some of them are let. 
or just a street, a place where you previously lived. It's a spirit telling you, it's the dream, t- I mean, the dream is telling you, you are, you are dealing with a familiar spirit. You are dealing with a spirit from your past. A spirit that is familiar is a spirit that understands you, knows your weaknesses, knows your strengths, and knows the things you love to do, and knows the things you don't love to do. And using this witchcraft is able to attack you using familiar spirits. They are able to predict, to say the weakness of this person is this, and using this scale you and events we have concerning this person we can release an attack so when you see that dream in your past where you grew up from where you used to be it's not an exciting dream wake up to pray against it it's a sign you are under the attack of witchcraft and some people you would dream you have lost something in the dream you you are about to start a journey but you keep on looking maybe for your shoes it is a sign to show you your destiny is under attack there are some of you that are watching right now you always dream you don't arrive where you're going it's a sign of witchcraft that is holding your destiny that no matter how you start you will never set because every time you keep on seeing yourself looking for this shoe, it is telling you your destiny is captured. You've got to pray and recover your destiny from these powers of witchcraft. So anytime you dream, you are looking for anything missing in the dream. It's a sign of witchcraft to say your career is under attack from the works of the enemy, from the spirit of witchcraft. And it should never, never excite you. When you dream, you see yourself in a filthy place, like a toilet. Maybe you are easing yourself, doing a number two. It is a spirit of witchcraft because God never lives in a dirty environment. Any moment in your dream, in your sleep, you see a dirty environment, just know that you are dealing with a spirit of witchcraft, of shame about to hit your life. Some of you, you keep on dreaming dirty. You are in a sewer place. It is a sign to show you your life is under the control of witchcraft that has manipulated your life, that has manipulated your destiny. So tonight afternoon, depending on the time zones where you're watching me from this lovely morning, I pray for your deliverance from any spirit that has hijacked your destiny in the name of Jesus. So there are people, the reason you can't get married is this, that you have been bewitched. Because there's a spirit of shame. They are, you've been in several relationship after relationship, but nothing seems to be thriving. Why? It is because you have been bewitched and the spirit of shame is over your life. Anytime again, you dream you are in torn clothes. Torn clothes is a sign of shame. In the Old Testament, whenever you are being honored, you'll be given new clothes when you're reading the Bible as a sign of honor. When you're reading the book of Zechariah, you'll find a story where the high priest Joshua was clothed in garments that were torn, a sign of shame, despair, rejection. There are a lot of you, your lives are not going well. When you assess the report card when you dream, you always dream yourself putting on odd clothes, putting on things that are dirty, and you don't understand, and you keep on seeing some people People right now, your life is not going well. Shame after shame. But when you assess your dreams, your dreams are communicating to you to say you are under attack of the witchcraft spirit. You are under attack from the satanic spirit of witchcraft working against you that you've got to confront. Another dream that will show you you are under attack with the, by the spirit of witchcraft or you have been bewitched is this. Any moment you dream an animal, Animals have got characters that they portray. It goes as well to say even people, you can dream certain individuals. It is a character spirit that is being portrayed in your sleep to say you are under attack by this character spirit. And now you need to understand what is a character spirit. If you live with somebody, you will know how they behave. So when you see such an individual's image in your sleep, it is communicating to you there's a spirit that is familiar like the individual that you know, which is after you that you've got to confront, that you've got to come against. And there are a lot of you right now, you keep on dreaming different animals in your sleep. I'm going to say one animal that could be affecting somebody that is watching right now. Any moment... You dream a tortoise. It is a sign of witchcraft of slowness. There is no progress in your life. A tortoise is an animal which is slow. So it is a sign of witchcraft showing you the progress in your life has been captured. You've got to confront it. Number two, any 
time you see a dog, just know you are dealing with witchcraft. If it is a male spirit, it's a, it's a male dog, just know you are dealing with a spirit of somebody with witchcraft of dominating. There are people that are going to come your way who would want to dominate and control your life. If you dream a female dog, female dog, just know you are dealing with a spirit of lust. Any moment if you're married or you're not married, you dream a female dog. It is a sign to say the spirit of witchcraft which is attacking you. It is a spirit of lust that you've got to confront. So a male dog, it is the kind of witchcraft where they're going to dominate, manipulate your life. Because a male dog always wants to dominate. It is always aggressive. So when you see that in your sleep, in your dream, just know you are dealing with a spirit of witchcraft which will always want to dominate and challenge even your position in your workplace, in your marriage, anywhere. So it is a sign to say, wake up, don't sleep. So those are the dreams meanings on animals. Anytime you dream you are having sex in your dreams. That is a sign of covenant of demonic witchcraft. You know, I li I like I said, witchcraft thrives on contacts. They need to deposit something in your body. I'm going to explain why that the deposit has to be made in a few minutes that I'm going to be speaking on the thriving. What makes witchcraft to be witchcraft? All right. So once there is a dream of you having sex, don't wait for tomorrow. Train yourself to wake up instantly and cancel it. Why? There is an exchange happening that you become part of the realm of the demonic of witchcraft into that place where you are. So there are a lot of people you can't get married because in the spirit, you are already married to what are known as spiritual spouses. So these are demonic spirits which come and lay with somebody because in your unconscious state, remember, you do not have full will to say no or yes. So they can force themselves in you. So there are a lot of people I've seen, you know, they are battling in their life. Why? Because they are having a spouse in their dreams, a spiritual husband, a spiritual wife. So these are demonic spirits that come to lay with people. Once they are able even to impregnate somebody, there are people you will dream, I've seen them, I've been doing deliverance for some time now, that when you wake up, you can even feel like you were breastfeeding. You can feel the pain like you were a baby was sucking from your breast. There are people as well, you can feel it even something swelling in your womb, like like you are expecting to give birth. Why? It is a demonic womb which you have been impregnated with. And due to this, this can affect you not to give birth in the physical. And I've seen these spirits cause frictions in the homes of people because every time that you get to be into a place where you want to be intimate with your partner. This spirit will always manifest. There will always be a presence that will irritate the other person because they are being sexually satisfied in their sleep by these unclean spirits. So anytime you dream as well, you are by the riverside. You are in trouble, my friend. It's not maybe, wow, you're on a vacation. It is a sign. The spirits that are attacking you of witchcraft are those which dwell in the waters. Spirits have different places of occupation. If you dream you are in the forest, you are alone. It's a wandering spirit that you've got to confront. It's a spirit that is telling you, there are a lot of people right now that I'm speaking to right now, your lives are always wandering. What is a wandering spirit? You will never get content. You will never settle. Anytime you try to hold something, because the forest is an empty land, I mean a land which is just having trees, nobody builds there. That's the way your life is. There's no stability. You will start this, you are incomplete. There are some people I've seen them. They will say they want to do nursing, they stop. They start a business, they stop. They want to do teaching, they stop. Nothing progressive will ever show up. Why? You are dealing with the spirit of witchcraft or spirits of the wilderness. Or it could be water spirits. Some of you have dealt with people that are struggling with bedwetting. It is normal when you are a child, but it becomes a stage when you surpass it and bedwetting is still going on. Just know you are dealing with witchcraft. Any moment you see something becomes uncommon, it becomes abnormal rather, not uncommon, abnormal. Just know you are dealing with witchcraft. That becomes an affliction. So you dream water, you are by the waters. Just know, my friend, you are under heavy attack of water spirits from the rivers. But I pray for you that today the Lord will set you free wherever that you are watching me from. 
Let me say something again about witchcraft while I'm still talking about dreams because I'm going to say something that's going to help somebody as well. Witchcraft thrives on monitoring. These are the three things that happens when witchcraft is about to attack somebody. They watch over you. They keep at work. They follow you. They watch over you. They keep at work. They follow you. If they want to come to destroy your life, They'll make sure that they are following everything about you. Who do you talk to? They make sure they do this. They try to find if there's an individual in your circle who can be able to detect to say you are under attack. They make sure they break relationship, that they isolate you from somebody that can assist you. This is something that you know somebody also is under attack of witchcraft. They become lonely. They want to isolate themselves. They become suicidal. They begin to think about death. So the enemy breaks your security intelligence to make sure there's nobody that can help you so that when he strikes you it is one blow you are finished you are destroyed so it is a manipulative skill of the enemy he checks your environment who is capable of praying in your family to deal with generational cases and then begins to divide you all of a sudden you lose communication with people that pray for you and you say i don't know why by the time you are in trouble you can't reach out to them because you caused a big gap and a lot of people that have seen die today is because the enemy broke communication between them and the people that pray for them with the people that had an understanding of what was happening in the realms of the spirit he would cause you to fight your pastor for no reason why because he knows that individual always stands in the gap to intercede for you so he will bring in confusion and you think oh wow i don't love to be talked like that suddenly you become frustrated to take offense that offense is to blind you to take you away from people that can assist you people that can help you all right back to the dreams anytime you see yourself flying in the dreams just know you have graduated to be initiated in the school of witchcraft it is a sign of witchcraft people don't walk witches fly so when you see yourself in the dream you are flying it is a sign to tell you you have been initiated in witchcraft so suddenly somebody was chasing you there's danger and all of a sudden you began to fly that is not the spirit of god that is demonic spirits that are manipulating and trying to deceive you and make you believe in that now this is one thing i need to you to know about the devil he is a schemer when we say it's a schemer he is he is specialized in his way of doing his crafty in a negative way. So even some people, the spiritual husband or wife you're having, the devil will use a picture of somebody that you know. You think, oh, this is my husband, so there's no problem. Let me sleep with him in the dreams. But I want you to know that's not your husband. That's not your boyfriend. That is a demon spirit. Because the enemy knows if he uses a picture of somebody else you do not know, you will say no. But he will use a picture based even the kind of people you love to found with. So in your dream, you see yourself sleeping with it. There are people that have told me to say they have dreamt like in the sleep. In they are sleeping with their own son. And something they can never, never do in the physical. That was not your son. The devil used the face of your son to easily convince you to so say ah this is the person i know and so you reluctantly not known to the enemy the devil was able to capitalize over that i'm praying for somebody right now you are under attack for some time you are a lady you've not been able to see your peace but i'm speaking this moment that god is going to set you free from the witchcraft that has been forcing you um causing the miscarriages that you've been having you always dream this being that will come into your sleep and sleep with you that spirit i come against it will rebuke it in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ all right we're still on the dream so i was talking about flying is a sign to show you to say you are under attack of witchcraft or you have been bewitched the other dream Anytime you dream you are eating with the dead, they are telling you, you are part of the dead now. You have been announced in the realm of the demonic. You are no longer living. You are counted among the dead. Because the word of God will say that you have not left your chosen one among the dead. Christ even was being referred to that he's not being counted to be a dead man. Even when three days he was in that tomb. Now the Bible says as well, there's nothing involved between, I'm just restating it, involved between the dead and the living. 
So there's no such a thing as my dead uncle always comes to visit me. I want to tell you, I've lost loved ones, but I want you to tell you, they are not coming back. We will only see them if they were with the Lord Jesus the day we go to join our Lord and Savior Jesus. On the day of the great rewarding, to others it will be a judgment. But to us who are saved, it will be a day of delight. So anytime you dream your dead friends or your people that are dead, it's a sign, number one, there's a, it's a warning you need to pray. You are, are being attacked with the witchcraft of death or it could be somebody close to you is about to die. You need to stand to pray to cancel this. Do not wait for tomorrow. Wake up that very moment of time and begin to pray to cancel the works of the enemy. So when you have this dream that you dream people that are dead, just know it's a spirit of witchcraft, it's a spirit of death that you've got to dream and to cancel. Something that you need to know about dreams that are signs of witchcraft you are dealing with. Number one, every time you are struggling to breathe in your sleep, just know the spirit of witchcraft of death is heavily after you. Number two, the enemy will always try to rob you from discovering what is fighting you. Anytime you're under attack with witchcraft, he will try to fight you not to understand your life is in danger. And number three, there will always be fear. In you, you say, even if I don't remember what I dreamt, but there's fear that will come into you knowing, not being certain about what is happening about your life. All right, we're going to just get a time of prayer right now that I'm going to pray with you, everybody of you from wherever that you are watching this clip from, this video from. Do share it and uh, tag your friends and loved ones. And I pray that God will just meet you at your point of needs and deliver you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for every man or woman that is listening right now. Under the sound of my voice, we speak deliverance from every spirit of death that has been assigned over their womb. That has been assigned to take them not to be fruitful till they go to the grave. That spirit of witchcraft working against your womb, let it lose you. That spirit of witchcraft working against your marital life saying you can settle. Let it lose you. That witchcraft fighting you from not getting employment. There's no settlement in your career and your education. Let it lose you now. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. By the spirit that raised Jesus out of the dead. The Bible records Jesus prayed for a certain man and then he says, what do you see? He said, I see men like trees. Jesus had to take the man out of the city and when he prayed for him his eyes opened. Why? There was a spirit of witchcraft in the city which was familiar that was holding him not to receive his breakthrough. I stand to agree with you. Any witchcraft fighting you in the land where you live, in the land where you come from, may the Spirit of God disconnect you. May the Spirit of God set you free. May the Spirit of God deliver you. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus, every unending sicknesses and diseases you've been having, may the Spirit of God set you free. May the Spirit of God release you. May the Spirit of God deliver you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come against the spirit of death, that witchcraft that has been fighting against your finances, that you keep on losing your income. Today, I speak your lose your liberty in the mighty, precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This moment, I pray for you. Wherever that you are cutting me from, under the sound of my voice, be loose from every spell, be loose from every spell, be loose from every spell, be loose from every spell. Loose from every spell. Spells that have been casted against your image wherever they took your photo and they spoke evil whatever satanic token they raised and erected against your life be loose from it in the name of Jesus be loose from it in the name of Jesus be loose from it in the name of Jesus I speak with divine authority over your life right now be loose in the name of Jesus be loose in the name of Jesus be loose in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. from every satanic spell that has been projected over your life right now. Any mind-binding controlling spirits that have been controlling your mind, may they lose you now. May they lose you now. May they lose their control over your 
your life right now in the name of our Lord Jesus. Whatever spell has captured your mind, let it loose you now. Let it loose you now. Let it loose you now. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus, let that spell lose authority and its hold over your life this moment of time. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus, whatever you are fed in the dreams, that's not of God. Let it be flushed out of your body in the name of our Lord Jesus. Let it be flushed out of your body in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus. I speak with divine authority that whatever demonic deposits in your body that are not of God. The Bible in the book of Matthew records a certain man, he had planted wheat, wheat which is used to, to make flour for bread. And when it was time to harvest, his servant said, Master, did we not plant good seed? He said, yes, we did. But the enemy came in the night and he did it. I pray for you. Any satanic deposit in your body that were deposited in your sleep in the night, may God approve them. May God approve them. Any sickness that came through you these dreams, may it be approved and may that door be shut for the spirits never, never to access your body again. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare your freedom. I declare your liberty in Jesus' precious mighty name. Father, this moment I pray for somebody, Jehovah God, who has been in a pattern of sicknesses that they can't seem to get the cause. Doctors keep on changing statements, but today I pray that you be healed from that arthritis, from that liver kidney problem of yours that you've been having for decades now. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that sickness, that condition, that pancreatitis problem of digestion you've been having, I speak be healed this moment right now. Now. Be healed this moment right now. I speak whatever power has been fighting your business. I lose your finances from every spell of the enemy that was cast upon it in the name of Jesus. I pray for your children right now. Every spirit that has captured them into drugs, into other and evil, all kinds of evil things. May the Lord lose your children from every satanic spell that has come falling upon them, that has captured them and may they be loosed in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the women of your family. Whatever fights them, those unending battles, may the Spirit of God bring forth an end to them. May God today send judgment against any witchcraft, fighting the males of your family, fighting the destinies of the women of your family. Today, we speak their liberty in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus, and may they be free. May they be set free from every power of demonic which has overshadowed them, which has covered them, which has manipulated their destinies. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus, I pray for an individual called Josephine. Wherever that you are watching me from today, I speak you are delivered, you are healed from that condition that you've been. I see people being healed from manipulated sicknesses in their body. You know it, you are not sick, but the medicine they have given you, it is for a person who is sick of HIV AIDS, who is sick of a certain disease, you know it for sure deep down your head, your mind, I mean your heart, and you know it. This is not your, your I mean, this is not the condition you're supposed to live. I deal with every demonic manufactured sicknesses in your bodies. May they be flushed out of your body in the name of Jesus. And whatever I said, you will not see your wedding bells. Let it be put to shame in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much for everybody that has been watching. Do let me know if you've been blessed with this message. Join me tomorrow, Saturday, on the same page as well. I'll be live exactly, Zambian time will say 17 hours, uh, South African time, 5 p.m. Central African time. I'll be dealing with witchcraft. So do write me inbox if you've got any dream then tomorrow we're gonna be live exactly by 5 p.m i'll be back waging war against witchcraft spirits and we'll be exposing spirits that have been oppressing people's lives god bless you and don't forget to love this page don't forget also to go to youtube this video will be available on youtube uh you're gonna tap for gospel revolutionary tv exactly uh, by uh, 4 o'clock or 16 hours today, you can access this video. It's going to be live on your YouTube channel. I mean, on my YouTube channel, uh, which is Gospel Revolutionary TV. 
So make sure you subscribe, make sure you share the video, and make sure you invite somebody. God bless you. This has been your friend, your brother, Sam Hanga, Consul Chinyama, signing out. See you next time. Salam, salam, and thank you for your time.